Welcome into the Oklahoma's Video Studio. Time for another fun segment with our friends from downtown OKC. When we answer the burning question of what is your favorite Garth Brooks song, we will oh. get to that here. <laughs> Not ready. Riley Cole, Danielle Dodson, ladies and gentlemen. We got Joe over there on the couch. Woo! Hey, Joe. <laughs> How are you guys? Oh, she panned to him. Yeah, I love well, of it. Course. I love it. We're good. We're 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 here with our with our new programs coordinator, Joe. So that's who that was. Well, welcome in, Joe. <laughs> uh, welcome back, I should say. He was with you guys previously. Yeah. Went to Thailand, and now he's back with yes, downtown OKC. Yes, excited to have him. Well, we're excited to talk with you, ladies, about all the things going on this weekend. And I mentioned Garth Brooks because he has not one, not two, four shows this weekend, Goodness. which just adds to the buzz of the things happening this weekend. Yeah, it's absolutely. Be fun. I'm super psyched. Um, I think ha like half of our staff is going to Are a Garth Brooks show. I'm a little sad I didn't get a ticket, but um, I will be living vicariously through all of their Snapchats and Instagram stories sure. for sure. Um, Last time he was here was 20 years ago, and oh, I was at that wow. show. Um, and I'm not a big country music or Garth Brooks fan, but he did a really good job, mm -hmm. and I yeah. assume this weekend will he be the perform. same. Yep. Yeah, it's hard to find somebody who doesn't like Garth Brooks. So. Anybody in the studio? <laughs> There's no hands, so we're, we're good here. We'll get back to that favorite question. Speaking of buzz and things that are happening, last night, uh, Paul George, yes. as you can see in today's edition of The Oklahoman, was introduced uh, in a party atmosphere over the Jones Assembly, and they had their big grand opening. Uh, is it today or does it start tomorrow? It's this weekend, regardless. It starts tonight. So okay. uh, they open for dinner reservations tonight at 5 p.m., and then going forward, they'll be open for lunch and dinner and Sundays they have a brunch. Um, but it was really neat to see uh, this last night. I'm sure everybody in Oklahoma City had their eyes glued to um, this event and just hearing him come to the city, so. It was interesting um, because it was the party atmosphere. Everybody, as you can see, had their cell, phone, <laughs> cell phones out, you know, shooting video, photos, Snapchatting, who knows what they were doing, uh, but everywhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was. Cool. See what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> wow. It tells you what age you're living in. If you didn't take a picture, it didn't happen. That's right. You weren't you there. You weren't there. Uh, anyway, the Jones Assembly, though, and you guys have, have been to the uh, the soft opens that they have had. It's yeah. a pretty cool venue. It's, it's, a, yeah. it's a beautiful space. Um, it's uh, very versatile, and it's you can make it indoor, outdoor, just indoor. Um, it's a concert venue. They have private parties where you can have upstairs in their um, tea room. Um, and they have a, like vintage records all over the wall and a record player. Um, but I think it's gonna be an amazing addition to the west part of downtown. Um, and with those residences coming online in the next uh, year or so, it's just that side of Film Row is going to be popping. I think you are. I think you're right about that. It really does anchor that side mm -hmm. of, of downtown Oklahoma City. I want to say that uh, Stone Cloud Brewery may be having their opening. It's this Saturday. Uh, this Saturday as well, right? Which is yeah. right around the corner. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, I think there's party. there's going to be a lot of um, activity right there across class and going back right. and forth. It'll be yeah. fun. I'm sure. All right, good stuff. So Jones Assembly opening uh, this weekend. Um, Meanwhile, back over here, Dancing in the Gardens uh, is coming up tomorrow on Friday. Yeah, so it's tomorrow night. It's um, on the plaza where Pitchfork in the Park is. So right like by the splash pad gotcha. area. I guess there's two water areas, but this one's by... The kiddo area and mm -hmm. then... Uh, it's the one on the east side of yeah. the gardens. Yeah. yeah. So right tomorrow <laughs> night is going to be hip hop. So it's So it may final. not be any of the people pictured yeah. here. <laughs> So it's the last one of the season and instructors cool. from 360 Dance will be there and they'll give a performance to start and then afterwards they'll be teaching a free lesson so anyone's welcome to come out um, and there's also going to be food and beer and it's going to be a good time. I'm just thinking of all the dance lessons I could possibly have and not look awkward. Hip hop might be the worst. You know, <laughs> the one that I might be the most ill qualified for is hip hop dancing. Well, if you don't think you can dance, I, I, I heard that they're having a uh, dress like your ninth best 90s gear ah, gotcha. for it so you <laughs> can at least show up. show up in your cool 90s clothes and watch people <laughs> cool 90s clothes huh <laughs> just tie a flannel around your waist call again yeah overalls right. and flannel you're set <laughs> not a bad idea so flashback to the 90s hip-hop uh, Friday tomorrow uh, 7 to 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. over right. uh, at the gardens um, next week something that's pretty cool the deep deuce railroad sign unveiling, revealing, reveal party. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we actually just got um, 
we saw it being fabricated, and Mallory was there, she took a photo, and it looks awesome. So they got to go and pick out the vinyl cover that's gonna cover the letters. Oh. Um, so we're having a party for it, and it's next Tuesday, July 18th. It's just gonna be in the morning from 8.30 to 10. Before it gets and, blazing hot. Yes, I know. I was like, are you sure you don't wanna start it at seven? Um, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be there, but. <laughs> So um, anyway, Holy Rollers will be there. They will be giving out complimentary donuts and coffee. Um, and then Jane, our president, and then also Bono. Sto Bono You're president. bringing in Bono. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you really buried the lead. Yes. Um, <laughs> he's he's <laughs> a performance by you too, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, so they the will be speaking. <laughs> anyway, he um, owns anyway, Dave. Slim. Dave, yeah. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> So we'll anyways, have some steak, steak stakeholders. <laughs> we'll have steak. Good. So. <laughs> steak and donuts. And then we'll yes. walk over and watch the sign be lit, and it'll be really cool. At this yeah. point, you have no idea what's going on with the sign <laughs> reveal, but it's going to be the best thing ever. I hear steak and Bono is going to be there. <laughs> so. But really, free free donuts and coffee. And <laughs> you can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. Yet another uh, placemaking, if you will, of mm -hmm. here's signage Absolutely. in a cool part of yeah. town. And the uh, main convening will take place in the parking lot of Dental 32. Okay. So we'll meet there and then walk to the underpass together. The event is free. It is mm -hmm. open to the public. Uh, right. And by the way, the events we're talking about can be found on the website at downtownokc.com, including movie night at the beach. Yes. So movie night. So we have the Deep Deuce event on Tuesday, and then on Friday night we're having a movie night at the beach. So this is our last event of the season for the beach, but it'll still be open through the end of August. Okay. But this one's on Friday night, July 21st, and we will be showing Angels in the Outfield. I won't embarrass myself during this segment again. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, show us. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so it starts at 9 p.m. and then Snow S'more will be there um, with snow cones and then the Dodgers will have their concession open and cool. I hear there will also be some vendors walking around um, selling Cracker Jacks and oh, peanuts. Cool. So it'll be, it'll be a good time. We're yeah. excited. Good baseball field too. Bring your yeah. blankets and chairs and stake out your spot and yeah. We're anticipating a, a lot of people to attend. It's gotten a bunch of traction on Facebook. We talked yeah. about this so. uh, two weeks ago mm -hmm. when you ladies were in studio about how that beach just kind of attracts people. Yeah. Uh, since I was without a car the past week, <laughs> uh, walking around a lot, I was down in Bricktown um, a couple nights by the beach there were just games going on, yeah. just Volleyball. random pickup games. Yeah, yeah, it's so cool to see that. Um, and I don't know how they organize. It's just like self-organized. Yep. They show up, they have teams, mm -hmm. and they rotate people out, and it's the coolest thing. Yep. Yeah, good, yeah, just random collection of people. Feels really cool. You could cool. tell they didn't really come down there together yet. Hey, you want to play? You want to play? Mm -hmm. and yeah. Organic volleyball, if you will. <laughs> uh, and then finally. Sounds healthy. Yeah, it does sound healthy. Right? <laughs> it goes with a smoothie or something. Make Kerr Park. Your, Your part. part. <laughs> As it clearly says right here. Uh, what is this all about? This is about our community engagement workshop, and it's going to be August 1st from 5.30 to 7. Um, it's open to the public. Great and graphic. yeah, beautiful, beautiful artwork. Um, but it's going to be a come and go um, workshop where you can meet with um, experts from public. Uh, Project. Project for Public Spaces, and um, they'll give your, get your ideas on um, what um, you'd like to see in the park, because we really want this space to be transformed into what the community needs and the community wants, and the only way we can do that is if you guys show up and give us your ideas of what you think would be good programming and any yeah. changes that you might think would be necessary for Kerr Park. Uh, Kerr yeah. Park has such a future. It's a good space. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a matter of, hey, what can we do with this? Uh, it received um, the Southwest Airlines mm -hmm. Heart of the Community grant. Yeah. So that's you know, two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's gonna. We have the money behind it to 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 put these ideas into action. So we just need to know um, what your thoughts are and how we can take those ideas and make it into a reality. It's definitely been a learning experience for us because you know Project for Public Spaces they put such an emphasis on community involvement, um, and so. You know, it was their idea to do these workshops, and so we're implementing them, and they will be there with us. Um, yeah, so we're really excited to see what the community wants, what they think makes a good space. So yeah, and there's going to be free food and drinks, yes. and uh, <laughs> so you can eat and talk to your neighbors and give your ideas to us. More information again on their website at downtownokc.com. That's August 1st from 5:30 to 7 p.m. So when you get off work. 
come on down there. Uh, we were talking about yesterday when I drove by, uh, I see all these inflatables and slides and someone was taken over the part. You said it was Sandridge? Yeah, Sandridge um, manages that, that area and so it's easy for them to go ahead and put all their inflatables up. But there were was large a inflatables, but there were several of them which tells you this is a decent size uh, space. area. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and they had a rock climbing wall awesome inflatables. I mean, there's a lot of opportunity for this space, so we're excited. Inflatables everywhere. You know? <laughs> and Bono. <laughs> and Bono. Who was there? Um, so finally, your favorite Garth Brooks song? Friends in Low Places. Oh. <laughs> thunder Rolls. That's a good one. I heard a lot of Thunder Rolls back in high school. Cause, like I said, I wasn't the Garth Brooks fan, but my friends, of course, you grew up in Oklahoma, there are a lot of Garth Brooks fans. <laughs> yeah. I heard a lot of Thunder Rolls. All right, that'll do it for this segment. Uh, <laughs> ladies, thanks so much for stopping in. Thanks for Joe, having us. Joe, thanks for being here as well. <laughs> Paige, back in the control room, thanks for putting up with us. <laughs> and more information at downtownokc.com.